Life just sucks ass sometimes. There's no reason behind it. You know, you could be like super present, meditate, positive affirmation, positive thinking. At the end of the day, sometimes life will just suck ass. It's just gonna happen. And I try to give value and uh, motivation in my videos, but you know what, fuck it. Today I'm just gonna make a video about why does life suck? Because it's just the fucking truth. You know, sometimes life does suck. Things just happen. That's probably the best way you could put it. Things, random shit will just happen to you or to people around you. Some shit will just happen, you know? And uh, if you don't, I think I made this video because you see all these videos on YouTube, you know, you go to all these seminars, do all these things, uh, read all these books, and it seems like, wow, if I just uh, grow and do personal development, my life will just be perfect. It'll just be amazing. Nothing shitty will ever happen to me. I'll just uh, be be up all the time. Positive affirmation. Truth is, that, that's a fucking lie, first of all. Personal growth does not stop shit from happening. If anything, worse, worse things will happen because the caliber of your life will be increasing. So you're gonna have even worse problems than when you were in scarcity. But, um, no, if anything, you're gonna have worse problems. If any, they just help you to to deal with the problems, I guess, in a more healthy way. But, uh, it's not even in this, like, grandiose sort of way, either. It's, it's not that extraordinary. Like, you think, you think Tony Robbins doesn't fucking have bad days and just snaps at people sometimes? Or Steve Jobs? Well, Steve Jobs was notably an asshole. That's what he was known for. Or Bill Gates or Warren Buffett. Or even any of the spiritual teachers. I, I'm pretty sure Eckhart Tolle sometimes feels like shit. But um, you know, he's like he's just he just deals with it. He just he's like he's just like I feel like shit today. That's probably what Eckhart Tolle does. He's just like I just feel like shit. But yeah, life life will just suck ass sometimes. And if anyone's been following me on uh, Instagram or Twitter, I hit my income goal for last month after fucking a year of, after the last year of my, my eBay business getting totally fucked over and getting, getting shut down, uh, starting it up again. From last, last summer making like 10K, my, me and my brother were, were netting. 10k a month. I think we're doing about 20 to 30k in sales, netting 10k, and then going to fucking nothing. And then yeah, so last month we hit a, a at least I hit my income goal. But um, even with the, you you think that when you start making money or you know you you get the things that you want, life will be a lot better. But it's such a relative term to think that way and it's such a fallacy to think that way because shit will just keep happening in your life it just keeps happening and uh, I don't think any amount of money or things on the outside will keep you from having like just a shitty day sometimes and yeah today I, I just feel like shit and it feels like life sucks maybe that's maybe that's the, the, the curse of being human that comes with the gift, this gift of consciousness. We're also conscious of bad shit that happens. I mean, for animals, they're conscious too. Like, if you, if you fucking kick a dog, it's probably gonna hurt like a, it's gonna hurt him. It's gonna cry and shit. But it, he's not gonna be like, oh, why did you kick me? Blah, blah, blah. Why'd I have to be born a dog? And all this bullshit. He's just gonna take it. We as humans though, we have this, uh, this gift to make things even worse, I guess, than they are in our minds. But um, at the end of the day, some, some shitty shit just happens sometimes. Your fucking grandma dies, your parents pass away. I mean, sure, you know, through, I don't know, fucking positive affirmations, reframing, NLP, 
emotional freedom tapping, meditation. Yeah, sure, you you could say that the um, it's not as bad or it, it won't affect you. But that, that that's pretty bullshit, guys. Let's be real. Those things will still be painful and those things will still suck. I think it's just a matter of not letting that that initial pain turn into a uh, big suffering. Like today I just I just fucking woke up. I felt like shit. I I was just sad. Felt dumb. And I was just fucking I was just crying in my room for like 5 minutes. That actually helped make me feel better. I just felt sad because uh I just felt sad because well if you've been looking at my channel my recent breakup which was about it was like a four year relationship no almost four years I like to tell people it was four years but it was almost it was almost four it was like two months off two months off and yeah I just felt shitty because it's almost weird sometimes you when you hit your goals and you're not happy it's almost worse because I was like I hit my income goal for last month from that from coming from earlier this year when I was fucking making no money and broke again after like three years of working my ass off doing all sorts of shit and then being broke again and then now making decent income and I'm like what what is what is this even worth I'm fucking I got dumped the girl I was seeing for three years dumped my ass I'm still at home living with my parents like yeah sure I have all this money but nothing really to show for it I, like I don't even really like to buy uh, many exp I don't really have many expensive tastes anything probably the most expensive things I'll buy are like maybe shoes just because my brother recently got me into shoes and uh, and yeah sometimes life is just shitty I'm just do I'm doing intermittent fasting now um, trying to build my build my body get more aesthetic body and like families shitting on me, they're like, why aren't you? Why are you only eating two times a day? This is bullshit. You're gonna die. Why are you only eating uh, from two to nine? You're not gonna make it. So I mean, yeah, it's just it's just shitty sometimes. Life, you. I think that's all there is to say, and I don't want to make this so depressing, but you know, sometimes life is pretty depressing. It's just sad. You can do all the things that uh, you you did right, but it might not work out, and that's that's the uncertainty of life, right? Anything could happen, and you realize how little control you really have over circumstances. The only real control begins with yourself, because you don't get to choose your family. You don't get to you don't really get to choose a lot of things, to be honest. You don't really get to you don't even get to choose your talents. I mean, you might be good at something that you fucking hate to do, or you might be shit at something that that uh, you love to do you don't even get to really choose where you are born uh, you don't really choose how you look these are all things that are predetermined and predestined and that's why doing your best is crucial because that is the only thing in your control but at the end of the day sometimes you'll just it'll just won't work out I've done a lot of uh, businesses and they just didn't work. I'm not doing them anymore. Uh, I've done, yeah, I've done all sorts of ventures or even people. I've met all sorts of people and uh, no, they're just not in my life. I mean, not like they, they pass away or anything, but you just grow apart. And what can we learn from all this? If there is anything to learn, really. that that That's probably the biggest question in life, right? Like... What is the meaning behind all of this? And I read in a, a good quote from uh, Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning. It's a guy who was in a concentration camp and he basically is deciphering the, the ultimate question. Are, are, people, uh, are people victims of their circumstances or can they rise above their circumstances? And I, like, I really like a quote that he has in the book where it says, it's not a matter of you asking life, what is my purpose? 
but you it's you realizing that life is asking you what is your purpose and I guess that's a better way to uh, look at things it's almost like the JFK thing where he says don't ask what you, uh, you your country can do for you but ask what you can do for your country and so you know life life sucks it does it does suck sometimes it's also great sometimes I think just when life is shit you have to just accept that it is shit and then use whatever is in your control to change if you want to change it for the better this is where a lot of present work like meditation um, yeah meditation comes into play and the, like mindfulness not labeling things as good and bad but I just want to make this video because ultimately, yeah, some, some some things are fucking good and bad. Some things are shit and some things are great. And that's just the way it is, you know. I guess I want to help dispel the illusion that just because you are doing personal growth or meditating that bad things won't happen to you. It's not what happens, it's how you deal with it, right? That's, that's pretty much all I want to cover. Oh, it's a nice little bird over there. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video. It's more of a rant or vlog than anything very useful. If you can glean anything from this, it's just that, uh, yeah, it doesn't really... There's no real end point in life where you can just kind of be in like super happy abundance and everything is just like an upward spiral. Sometimes it's just going to be shitty. And it's, I think it's crucial just not to uh, give up and just move through it. Don't don't stay in that shittiness. Just move through it. We'll do whatever I have to do. It, it'll feel shitty because I think it feels shitty because you're uncertain. It's like what what happens now but whatever is happening now is what's happening so you just have to make the best of it there's no real answer everyone's still figuring it out even all the good the gurus and the people who think they're fucking saints all the shit they're gonna die and they're gonna be food for worms so it doesn't really matter bill gates will be food for worms one day and i'm not saying that to this disrespect man he's fucking awesome and he's done, he's done a lot of provided a lot of value to the world i mean i wouldn't even be talking to you if it wasn't for windows i run a windows 10 but just remember that uh even with all these grandiose uh, theories spirituality consciousness presentness meditation you know one day you'll just die and those people will die that's just the cycle of the universe there's ups and downs sideways left and right so it's okay if you just have a shitty day have a shitty day so i guess today's as always live your life but today just have a shitty day peace